welcoming you to another vlog. I can't see anything. I have got also a little bit of a December cold, but I guess that's okay. We are meeting his family um, for a short weekend vacation, a kind of foresty area in the north. Uh, we decided to stop on our own and have a little picnic. But soon I guess we'll pack up and be on our way. But I just wanted to welcome everyone to the vlog and thank you to you for shooting all of the cute clips in the beginning. Make some cute clips, you guys. Thank me later. Thank me later. Okay. away um, I'm gonna find a place to sit down and talk to you about whoa about some things so I thought that it would be nice to just I don't know uh, film some clips for you you know normally we're in the city um, and we don't have a lot of access to nature I mean we do have a lot of nature kind of around us but you know, you need to drive for a while to get there, so I thought it would be nice to share with you some like wholesome winter content. So I don't think I really updated you on what I was reading last. After the tiny challenge, I was simultaneously reading um, In the Woods by Tana French. That book is a big boy, He's 600 pages. Longest book that I've ever read. Um, and I finished it and I'm super proud of myself. It's also in a genre that I don't quite dip into that much. It's crime. It's basically crime mystery, which is the kind of thing I love to watch on TV, but I don't normally read. I had heard Tana French as a good, a really, really great writer. That's also for people who maybe don't normally read crime or mystery. And that, I don't know, no shade. No tea, no shade. You know, crime novels are not known for being like the most well-written books. It's just not normally what I'm reading also, but I heard from a few people, like Carolyn really loves Tana French. Yeah, I was in the mood to read something that was similar to the kind of TV that I like to watch. I love like Nordic crime drama. So I gave it a chance and I think I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was very gripping. Sorry, someone came by and I got nervous. He writes in a super atmospheric way, which I really love, especially if you're gonna set a dr uh, crime inside the woods, hence the name, um, then you want it to be very atmospheric, and it was, so that was really satisfying. Although I found the main character, okay, so basically it's about two detectives, Rob Ryan and Cassie Maddox. Rob Ryan is our narrator. So 20 years ago, in Knocknery, outside of Dublin. Three kids went into the woods went and went missing. One of Only one of them was found. The other two bodies were never found. And the one that was found, whose name was Adam Ryan, became Rob Ryan. So Rob grows up, changes his name, and basically doesn't have a memory for like 12 years. Um, this happened when he was around 12 years old. Now he works in the murder squad, which is like a high-profile murder kind of unit. And he has a new partner, Cassie Maddox, and they are sent a case of this girl who they find in an archaeological site in the same woods that he was, that he, that his two friends disappeared in 20 years Prior. The book is sort of splintering into different mysteries. Obviously you have the main one, which is like who killed this girl um, that they found, and also what happened 20 years ago, what's the situation with Rob. I have tried to film a clip, like a proper clip, 
eight times today. Um, so now it's the evening. I get really nervous or like self-conscious. Like if someone walks by and I'm like talking to my camera. Um, I don't know. I'm not used to that. Like I'm filming mostly at home, obviously, normally. So anyway, I'm here in bed. Just like in the heat for a second. Okay, actually, I'm going to take this moment where I can actually talk to you. So I'm wondering how much you can really say about a book that's so plot heavy because I'm not normally reading books with very much plot and especially not mystery or crime books where like the, the plot is so important. Like that's what you're kind of reading for to see what happens. And yeah, I enjoyed reading something different than what I normally read. I think Tana French is a good writer and and I was missing a little bit my female protagonists because the main character in In the Woods is like this really irritating white straight man who is like, has a bit of trauma, but still is just acting a complete fool. Just like a lot of male gaze and creepy stuff like hitting on 18 year olds and like, it was just a little gross to me for unlikable. I was like, where the hell are my feminist icons? After I finished that, I was kind of craving to go back to something a little bit more me. Um, but then I must say that I read the sample of the second one on my Kindle, which is called The Likeness, which I have here. And I just had to run to the store and buy it. So something's working for me, you guys. I don't know. This one's less, this is 460 pages. And our main character and main um, narrator is Cassie Maddox, who is one of the detectives in the previous book, In the Woods, but obviously from a female perspective. So that got me even more excited to continue. So I'll also try to talk to you about this at some point. I don't even know what I'm looking like right now. I'm just enjoying nature a little bit. I really miss having like easier access to nature. When, when I used to live in Nashville, I would just drive like 15 minutes in my car and go to this really beautiful lake called Radnor Lake. Carrie Ann, if, you, if you're watching this, you probably know. Um, and it was just such a nice, resource for me and yeah i just really feel the absence of that when i'm finally in nature again i realize how much i miss having easier access to it so i'm gonna try to enjoy that while it lasts <laughs> coffee situation and surprisingly, it's not so bad. I think I got the ratio <clears throat> of coffee to water pretty good. Good morning. found a quiet spot. I feel like I tried to get my thoughts together this whole weekend and it was just like all over the place. So I hope that there's something kind of some sort of through line um, to this video. I just had breakfast. I'm having some coffee. Be soon we're gonna take a hike on the mountain and there's also supposed to be a very beautiful church there which I'm really interested to see. So we're gonna squeeze all of that in before we drive back to the city. I actually participated in a short film that um, a friend of mine was making and I had the pleasure of being in it um, and the actual premiere is today, this evening. So I started the likeness. I'll tell you the main premise is that Cassie Maddox the female detective from the last book is called to a scene by her boyfriend who is also a detective. 
She's in the murder squad. She's left the murder squad since the last book. She's transferred to domestic violence. Well, she's sort of like, I don't understand why you're bringing me to a crime scene. I don't do this anymore. And Sam, her partner, is like, I really think that you need to come and see this. Also, she used to work undercover. Before she was in the murder squad, she was an undercover agent. So she shows up to the crime scene, which is, again, a different kind of rural town outside of Dublin. And there's a kind of a big estate, um, sort of Georgian mansion that these four students live in. And one of the students takes walks in the middle of the night and she is found dead in this kind of shed in the middle of the um, estate land. And the reason why Cassie is brought to this scene is because the victim looks exactly like her. The literal double, that's already really creepy, you know, to find a dead body that looks exactly like you. Her partner, of course, was really shocked because he thought it was her when he first found the body. So there's this like strange, striking resemblance between the two of them. And the ID that this body is carrying is of an old alias that Cassie used when she was working undercover. So you have this weird body that looks exactly like Cassie with the ID of this old alias. So I can tell you where I am now about a hundred and um, 20 pages is that her old boss from undercover decides to ask her to go back undercover as this body and go back into the house as if she wasn't found dead. She was just found injured. She's recovered now and she's going back in to her own house with these other three students. She's basically playing a non-dead dead girl. <laughs> and she's trying to figure out from the inside who is a suspect. So I've got to say, I absolutely love the premise of that. And I feel like it's going to be now really seeping into this um, dynamic of these four people in this house, Getting to know each of their characters, who are we suspecting, that you do get a constant feeling like something's off. I must say to you, that it may be shorter because it's like 460 pages, not 600. But the print is so small. You guys, Tana French is really testing me. Okay, I'll catch you later. Okay. Hi. So we are back home. As you can see, we're not in the woods anymore. It was fun. It was nice. Short and sweet. It was really nice to be in nature for a second and just to get out of the city. Of course, we love the city. We are city people. Just uh, coming here to end the vlog because I think I was debating whether to extend it until I finish this which is The Likeness by Tana French, which I spoke about in the last clip. I just haven't gotten any reading done since we got back, and I just don't know when I'm gonna finish this, and I think this just can be a nice short weekend vlog. I'll talk about this at some point in a wrap up or something. Uh, in a few minutes, we're gonna head down to a coffee shop that we love. Cute. And I'm gonna edit this vlog because I wanna upload it today. Um, and your hat? Yes, Miss Dior. Uh, um, and then I'm gonna go to Ikea because it's my day off. Ohad has to work, but I'm off, so my friend Mai and I are gonna take a car and go to Ikea, and that's always very fun and dangerous, and was very inspired by CJ's um, Sunday Reads video this morning, at least I watched it this morning, and with all her Christmas decorations and everything, so got me in the mood to put up the tree, put some lights, make it festive. Okay, that's all. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.